Hi everyone, so as you all know, I have a little bit of an addiction when it comes to looking at properties online and in real life, hence why I do move with Jake Property Tours. But also online is another level because obviously I can literally sit here and browse my laptop on Right Move, on Prime Location, Zoopla, all of those good places. Oh my god, and Purple Bricks is really good as well. And I look at houses. So today, oh, look at the morning sunshine coming out. It's going to be a good day. So I actually have been falling in love with this house I've recently seen on Right Move. And it's in West London, so not far from where I grew up. So, you know, West London, North West London has a very special place in my heart. So this house I've fallen in love with right now is in Burlington Road in Chiswick. So W4. And it's up with Hampton Cells and... I know somebody who can get me access to have a look inside this house. It's up on right move right now for six million pounds. Oh my gosh. And just from flicking through these images, honestly, I think it's my dream house, to be honest with you. And the only thing that I'm seeing that is a problem is that there is no driveway. But there is ample parking on the road, but there's no driveway. So that's one thing that I would have to figure out however if i was to live there i would be extremely extremely happy so this morning i'm going to drive there it's about an hour away from me and i am going to walk through my dream home stalk it a little bit check it out and just find out how i can buy a home like this i need to know what kind of people are buying these homes how they're buying these homes and how i can sign up to buy a home like this <laughs> the sun is shining are you excited i'm excited we made it you guys this is the house and we are going in to give it a lovely tour oh my gosh you guys so i had a quick look through this floor downstairs and upstairs briefly but this is probably the best house i've ever seen in my entire life because it actually pretty much is my dream home all the finishings, all the touches, the cornice, the panelling, the doors, the details, the chandeliers, they're all on my dream house mood board. <laughs> so I'm going to walk you guys through this house. Uh, my mind's blown. Let's get into this tour right now. And this is what you are greeted with, you guys. The staircase, the runner, the contrast, the panelling, the cornice. Everything is literally jade, even down to the brass door handles. Look how chunky and regal they are. They're a bit of me. Right, which way do we start? Let's go to the main event. Okay, so just to the right here is the dining, living, and kitchen area. <laughs> this kitchen is my dream kitchen. I don't think you guys understand the feelings i'm getting right now so this is actually a marble porcelain worktop and it's so durable stunning and durable we love that also the onyx floor wow shiny stunning natural stone as well everything is of course built in you've got like just reflective everything look at the glasses oh my gosh you guys so if i touch it it lights up <gasps> Look at the china, oh my gosh. Look at this brass interior. These lights, how beautiful are these lights? And look at the cornice on the ceiling as well. Right, so they also have some crystal style doors as well, which lead you out to the garden. Really cool garden, and there's a really cool feature down there, which we're going to get to later. You all know that I am a lover of green velvet and they have got it galore in this living space. I love how relaxed it is in here. The ceilings are so, so high. This is an old Victorian property that has been literally renovated, stripped from the inside. Just the four walls were left and the person behind this house has just rebuilt it to perfection, for me anyway. So all of the windows are like a nice bay style, super high ceilings, spotlights and you have these gorgeous lights again oh and then this is your dining space area which i think is really really nice there's so much space to have a bigger table but why would you want to cover up this floor you have a really big island as well so i think i'd be dining there a lot i don't want to leave i don't want to leave also look at the skylights you guys oh my goodness 
this just does not get old it will never ever ever get old now this formal dining room is a bit of me can you imagine the feasts that i would host in this dining room with my family my husband's family the kids running around the doggies running around oh my gosh these lights are also crystal swarovski lights and they are beautiful that cornice over there that rose rose is a rose even enough to describe that feature absolutely beautiful let's not forget this solid marble fireplace mantle is me it's all just me and i love the contrast they've gone with the black inside just contrasting giving it a bit of a modern twist to a very traditional room look at the art you guys look at the chairs by the window like just wow wow it's a very you know like warm and cozy room dimly lit so great for like evening feasts but then you have great windows bringing in great light as well this american walnut floor in the herringbone beautiful i am in awe of this house i can envision my whole family dining here dressed up to the nines go out beautiful what is through here then so you have a cute powder room i love that everything comes on automatically the lighting in this powder room is amazing because i think this is actually the room that i would be in a lot especially when it comes to going out for date nights or dinners or events the lighting is perfect and of course there is some storage with a good mirror so before you leave the house you know you look good now guys there is a really exciting part to this house down the stairs are you guys ready to see what is down here goodness there is a whole cinema down here can you hear the echo the screen is huge look at this theater room <gasps> Look at all of the art. I love the fun arts. They've got like George Clooney and all of these amazing actors dressed up. So it's very in keeping with the style of the house, a Victorian old house. I love that mixture of old and new. So they have a like cool bar area here, a sound system, seating over there. Oh my gosh, you guys. That's the staircase as well coming down. So the ceilings are super high. You have concrete ceilings. You have this Timothy Alton piece of art just dangling from the ceiling. And I love this wallpaper. I just love how they've designed it. They've not gone above and beyond. They have done what is necessary. Now over here you have a cute kitchenette, which honestly is the size of most apartment kitchens. So I'm not complaining about that. And then over here, you have got a whole shower room, marble, burgundy, red. And look at that ceiling, you guys. Just over here. Oh my gosh, like you. Oh, <laughs> guys, I'm so confused right now. Behind me, there's actually another bedroom. I had no idea this was here. I did not see this before. So you have a whole other bedroom with like a nice living space. <gasps> this so far oh my goodness and then out here you have this stunning stunning courtyard and fire pit okay so we're walking out of the courtyard now and up these stunning stairs i love this like i could have barbecues just down here forget the rest of the house a bit of a health hazard with me in these boots but now we're out of the ground and we're back onto normal levels and this is the garden here so we're gonna walk back through into the dream living kitchen and dining room over here and now we are going to head upstairs to all of the bedrooms and i've been told there is some nice surprises up there so let's go up and see look at this detailing everywhere i'm just stunned i love this black marble style bathroom or shower room it's very it's quite big actually for an extra shower room love it so through here we have a bedroom gorgeous gray wall beautiful beautiful with some built-in wardrobes as well 
Look at this art, you guys. This room's being used as an office. This, I believe, is the principal bedroom, and you can tell. Look at the detail. This is a Timothy Alton light as well. Look at that cornice. Look at this headboard. Wow, it's beautiful. And they haven't done too much. I love these gorgeous, stunning windows. There are so many windows. This is even like a little dressing area over here. And then there's more wardrobes, you guys. What is in here? Oh my God, there is a whole ensuite with a big, huge bathtub, you guys. So through the wardrobes, there is a surprise ensuite bathroom. Wow, look at that tub. And shower. This is a dream right now, a dream come true, to actually be able to walk through a home like this. It just makes me gravitate to it even more and it makes me believe that it's possible. It is. Now let's keep on going up because there is more in this house. How stunning are these runners everywhere i this is honestly like just perfection to me look at the light up here as well you guys also look at the ceiling glass look at the sky library book area with a nice seat you know that's a bit of me and then you have a bedroom up here look look at the little cat so cute i'm not gonna bother you because i don't actually like cats and then you have this beautiful bathroom and there's your cozy bath over there and you have a lovely window where you can just look out and see all the other gorgeous houses. You guys need to imagine with me, imagine this is my home and I'm just going out, going out for lunch in Chiswick. I've just shown you my dream home and I'm with Grant who I've shown you before on my channel and I was just thinking it would be nice to actually just ask him what kind of people buy homes like this and own homes like this because guys I want to buy a house like this one day <laughs> I really do yeah, so Grant I know you see loads of houses mm. like this all the time so this probably isn't even mm. like oh my god no it's up there it is. like the, the style wise I think yeah. in terms of how he's done it is incredible amazing um so yeah it's definitely up yeah there. I agree and what kind of person would own this buy this yeah um so it's in terms of buyer demographics it's usually either public eye okay um or high net worth okay. so not to be crass but people are earning a substantial just, amount of, yeah. of money. Obviously, what they will do as well with this type of house, I call it convenience money. Okay. So a lot of the time they're paying for uh, the fact that it's what we call term key. It's so done. It's ready to go. Yeah. yeah. So we always advise clients in this situation when they're selling this type of property. Yeah. We ideally want to be able to sell it with everything. Yeah. So lock stock with sofas, with light fixtures, everything with here. absolutely everything. Wow. Because they're paying for the they're convenience. They're paying for it, and that's what mm. they've come and seen. So to take everything out, exactly, it's yeah. like well, you find yeah. that sometimes if you know when we do completion walkthroughs, the house can look complete. If the furniture is yeah, removed, yeah. it can look completely different. Completely so different. as you'll know from like styling a home, yeah, it, it makes so it, yeah. yeah, yeah. And um, this house is up for six million. Right? Six, million six million, yeah. So. Do people buy homes like this on mortgage, cash buys? What, what it's tends a mixture, to yeah, it's a mixture. At this sort of level, as you can imagine, the leveraging isn't easy. Like yeah. it's not the sort of place that you're gonna put down a 10% deposit yeah. on. No. I mean, it does happen. Okay. We have sold places really? at, well, yeah, we, we traded one last week at just over four where someone was, only, was placing down about 15%. Wow. So it does happen, but obviously okay. when you think of income income multiples and yeah. leveraging, it's not it's that easy. Not easy yes. So almost half of our sales last year, given that I primarily deal in the prime market, yeah. almost half of our sales were cash. Okay. Because it's obviously, uh, it's just more viable to fund yeah, a purchase just, at this level that yeah, way. This level, Otherwise yeah, imagine your monthly payments, I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't even imagine it. Yeah. No, but one day, you guys, I just wanted to come and show you a house like this. Thank you, Grant, for letting yeah, us see course, it. Yeah. Because I am always on right move browsing houses like this. So I just thought it's time to start showing you yeah. and allowing you guys to dream as well. Yeah. But Grant, please let us come and see some more because the people want to see some more. Hundred percent. This is on right move now. <laughs> this right is, now. and the link's going to be down mm -hmm. below. And the link to Grant, um, everything he does, which is amazing. He does tours like this, like weekly. Yeah, usually weekly. Yeah, like weekly, you yeah. always have new videos, new yeah. reels, and 
I'm just always on your pages dreaming, you, sending same, them to yeah. you like, can I see this house? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So I definitely want to do more with Grant, but you guys need to follow Grant if you're into properties like this. And if you are actually in the market to buy a home like this, he is the person thank to you. speak to. So thanks Grant thank for letting you. us see it. Yeah, We're course. now going to go live on Instagram. Bye. See ya.